Hello everyone, watch this review here with a look at the Green Lantern Classics Skalix and Nightlick pack. Nightlick being displayed right here. Now although the packaging is kind of messed up, the Collecting Connect piece is still here and unfortunately the figure does have some production flaws, but hey, picked up for nine bucks and it was a character I was planning on buying regardless. Just because I thought it'd be a really cool uh, character design in addition to sort of bulking out my Red Lantern core, which at this point consists of just um, Dexter. Uh, for those of you not familiar with the characters, I'm not, I don't know anything about Skalix, but uh, Nightlick was actually an original creation for the line and supposedly will be featured in comics at some point, which is kind of cool. Uh, hold on a second and I'll get this out of pack. Now I forgot to point this out, but if you look, he's actually holding Skalix's skull for this configuration, which is really neat. Nightlick comes with uh, Stell's right leg, as well as the alternate pieces to turn him into Skalix, which actually was probably the bigger draw for me personally in the pack. Just, you know, it's just a really cool um, design and everything. Um, but at the same time, you know, Nightlick also just looks pretty crazy. It's kind of a design that you'd more associate with, um, say, the Sinestro core, though, since it's sort of terror-inspiring and, you know, is a more fearsome look for the, um, well, look for a character. You'll notice these really neat um, tendril things that pop out of each of the palms. He also has what look like teeth on the, um, inner part of the palm, which is kind of cool. Besides having sort of a weird carapace and stuff. Um, the head sculpt is just kind of all over the place. It's this really um, neat design. I'm not sure if this is supposed to intend as like a uh, third eye or something. You'll notice that there's a sort of a gap in the carapace for the um, tendrils and stuff. So technically, what looks to be part of his actual head, and or like tails to, um, I don't know if you'd call them tails or what, but actually contain like these bones and stuff. So basically the character's equivalent of hair, or vines or whatever, sort of wraps around and collects these bones and stuff, and then, you know, it wraps up here. So I'm not technically sure whether you're supposed to display him with the stuff all wrapped around or if you're supposed to display him with it like sort of hanging out there. I just know how he was in pack. I have no experience with this guy from the comics and supposedly um, he's a more recent character anyway. Very neat design though and I really do like the fact that he's got this um, additional piece here. Uh, the only sort of downsides, the production flaw for this, and all the ones I saw there had the little waistbands popped. I thought you could probably just push them back in, but so far that's not been the case. I'll try, I don't know, something, possibly gluing them later. Uh, hold on a second and I'll transform him into Skalix. Okay, first off, for those of you wondering, um, you can't actually fit the Skalix skull over the additional piece that comes with Nightlick. I mean, it just won't fit. I mean, you can kind of display them like that, but you wouldn't be able to turn the head and all that stuff. So, plus, of course, it actually has um, some Nightlick pieces on it. So, I mean, you know, kind of a downer, but here we have Skalix. Now, I should mention that the hands on these are actually a lot nicer than the ones that they previously did for the um, Wave 1 mash and low 2 well, not 2-pack, but multi-pack, because they actually pop out a lot easier. It looks like they're one solid piece instead of having a tiny insert inside a soft rubbery piece. So it's not a nightmare getting them on and off. Of course, if you remember the Green Lantern multi that came with this, didn't even have interchangeable hands, so it wasn't an issue for that. But yeah, I didn't mention before, but you can see the little logo and stuff carved in there. Not a lot of detail, though. And then, um, 
also on this hand, which actually looks a bit nicer. Now, given that um, Scalix is more of a conventional design in terms of the costume and stuff, it's, I guess, a bit less exciting in some ways, but, you know, uh, this is a Red Lantern with a ram or like an ox skull, so that just is all kinds of cool points right there. Even before he does anything else, he's looks pretty awesome, and you know, can inspire a fair amount of, well, I guess, you know, fear, although technically they're anger. And this rodeo reject does look a little bit angry. Now, unfortunately, a lot of them are very prone to uh, paint defects just because the uh, paint on the teeth and stuff will bleed onto the skull portion. And then it just looks like the paint just sort of sinks into where the uh, carved portions are, so you lose out on a bit of definition. But I picked this one up because it was, you know, the nicer of the packs. You'll also notice the paint is off the horns here. And the horns themselves do have a tendency to bend and pack. Some are shorter, some are longer. I'm not sure what's up with that, but it's just sort of a weird production thing. And um, you might actually, ironically, have more luck picking up the Nightlick configuration because, I don't know, you might have to worry less about uh, paint contamination with the packaging. But you know, it's hard to uh, tell for 100%. Now we can actually see the chest underneath this logo. You'll notice that there's a bit of shadowing and stuff. Um, different uh, painted on uh, logo here. Looks kind of like a sticker though. And the color just isn't as crisp as it is on the additional chest piece. All in all though, you know, really wicked looking figure. I do actually prefer the Night Lick just a little bit more. And the one thing I really wish they would have included with this pack is, with all the other packs, is just some energy constructs. He's the only red energy construct that we've had in the uh, Mattel line so far has been the Vomit for Dexstar, and, you know, that kind of is lame. I mean, I'm pretty sure these guys have normal constructs and, like, beams and stuff. So I kind of remember it being used, but... You know, it's just, like, they should kind of include these things. Although, I'm, you know, I guess it's probably a cost-saving measure or whatever that they don't. But yeah, I'm liking this one a fair amount. Liking the Nightlick one quite a bit more, especially because it's just got so much additional detail going on and everything. Yeah, it's just really nutty design. I just make sure that when you're picking this up, it doesn't have this stupid belt problem and, you know... That's probably more annoying than the few paint defects it might have, and I'll hopefully get this fixed. But this has been a look at Scalix and Nightlick from the Green Lantern Classics Wave 2. Until next time, folks.